and welcome to Jewelry Rescue. If you're new here, I'm Kat and I'm a girl on a mission to rescue and recycle the world's unwanted jewellery. Today we've got five charity shop mystery jewellery bags to open and we also have this big bag of broken bits that have come in from Faith over on Whatnot. Thank you very much, Faith. So we're going to be looking for things that I can restore or upcycle to resell in my eBay, Etsy, my Whatnot shows and also in my retail concessions. If you are new here, please do check out the channel below and hit that subscribe button, of course, so that you don't miss my future videos. Let's see what we've got. Let's start with the charity shop bags. So there are five of these and there was a whole box of them and I really looked at them carefully to choose the ones that I wanted to take. They were £2.50 each and as you can see they're quite small, there's not much in there. This one I suspect has been opened by somebody else already um, and they'd obviously been picked over but hopefully we'll find some treasures. So let's start with this one, I think it's already open. So the reason I picked out this one was because I thought this cuff looked really cool. It looks like an 80s one. There's no branding on it though, so it could be a modern one to look retro. I'll do a lens search on that one. Oh, it's quite teeny. And then we've got some faux pearls. I think this is modern to look an old yes, it's a Marks and Spencer's one. Quite cute, but nothing to write home about. This is all caught up. So that's a stretchy with faux pearls. I'll just cut that one up and we'll reuse those in the children's workshops. And these earrings, I could see this through the packet, they're on a stud but you can just take that off. So I think I'll just move those onto fresh hooks. Those are really cool. And then three modern costume bangles. That's not bad, £2.50. Now this one I picked because I wondered if this one might be amber and it feels like amber. It's really beautifully light. We've got some difference in the colour. They don't look like they're uniform. Let's just try the black light on them. Okay, so we should get a greenish glow from the black light if, if they are. And look at that. Awesome. That is a really lovely find for £2.50. Let's just pop the light back on. Oh, that's really cool. And it's a really long one too. You can feel that it's amber. It's just got that really, really light feel about it. Gorgeous. This is just a string of black plastic beads. That one will be cut up for the kiddies. And then we've got quite a nice costume charm bracelet. It says made for an angel. I wonder if it was a custom for somebody. We've got some freshwater pearls, some lampwork glass. It needs to be restrung though. So I think I'll probably do that. I'm doing a charm show and whatnot in a few weeks' time, so I might restring that for that show and it would go lovely with that amber necklace. These are nice as well, these ones. Okay. Two down, three to go. These are rather fun. They look like accessorised style earrings and they're studs. No branding on them. Quite cute though. What I really picked this up for was this necklace, which I have one almost identical to this somewhere which I dropped and the um, the turquoise smashed on nearly every piece. <laughs> this is so similar to it. So that's a lovely green, I, th I believe it's a green turquoise but correct me in the comments if you think I'm wrong. I might move that one over to a necklace chain. Um, a metal chain, that's what I'm trying to say, rather than the cord, just to elevate it a bit. And 
And then we've got some really nice crackle agate beads. That's really pretty. Ooh, I might put that in tomorrow night's and whatnot show, which by the time you're watching this will have already happened. <laughs> but that would be perfect, I think, for a Halloween -y show. So some Marks and Spencers. What have we got here? Is a Marks and Spencers. So we've got some nice wooden beads and some shell as well. I think I'll probably cut that one up and make that into stretchies. So these bags were £2.50 each, so I spent £12.50 on these bits. Oh, look what we've got here. So I actually sold a butterfly power shell brooch very similar to this in a whatnot show last week and it was a very popular item and we've got a dragonfly that's so cool it looks the same on the back actually as the butterfly that's a really pretty one for resale what i picked up this bag for was this lovely piece which i thought was glass but it's actually plastic it's got some flowers inside. Is it going to be accessorised? It is accessorised. That's a shame. I thought this one was a vintage one. But it is very cool. I would wear that one. And then we've got some little baggies. Ooh, these are quite cool. Look at those. They are plastic fantastic. And then this looks like some gemstones in here. What have we got here? Those are really sweet. I don't know what the stones are in there. Let me know if you know. Really pretty. Those can just go onto new hooks. And then in here, that's just a pair of cheapy costume sparklies and is this another accessorized one it is another accessorized one but it's got quite a lot of plating loss i love these beads though i'm going to i think take the beads off that one and reuse them now this is the one i got really excited about in the shop and you'll see why in a second not only do we have a really pretty cloisonne enamel brooch, but hiding in here is a Michaela Frey. Woohoo! So if you haven't heard me talk about it before, I'll try and get that to focus. I collect Michaela Frey and have done for many years since before I was doing the business. And I always keep the Michaela Frey pieces that I find I haven't got that many, but um, I love them. And the, the bangles come in different sizes. Often they're nice and small, which this one is, because I have quite a small wrist. And that's perfect. Love it. I think I might have a brooch in this range. That's a really exciting find for my personal collection. And the brooch will go into a whatnot show. This is a modern piece. A little sparkly. And we've got some hematite. This is the man-made magnetic type with a sparkly there. Although it does have a vintage style clasp on it. The beads look more modern than the clasp does. What have we got in here? This is a lovely selection of things for £12.50. I'm pleased with these. So these look like new little angel earrings. Those might be cute when I do my Christmas whatnot show. There's one, two, three, four pairs of those. Sweet. Pop those back in the bag because they look like they're new. One more thing in the charity bags and then we'll move on to the bag of breaking bits. This looks broken. <laughs> it is broken, but that's an easy fix. It's a very, very, very long, 
string of black beads. And got some age to it. I don't know, maybe 90s. Oh, that was a lovely charity haul. Let me know what was your favourite piece in the comments. I think my favourites are probably those bits are maybe maybe that one too lovely lovely stuff okay on to the broken bits so i've got a little note from faith she says to cat thank you have a great week faith um i'll pop a link to her profile in the description below along with mine if you join through my invite link you'll get 10 pounds to spend if you haven't come across before and i do a weekly show over there which is also streamed to youtube so first up i can see another collection another one for my collection this is a brass bangle i collect brass bangles and i particularly like ones with a bit of color in just give them a bit of flash I think this bag, I think I bought in one of Faith's auctions just for, I don't know, two, three, four pounds, something like that. Not more than four pounds. And there were bits that were either broken or I guess were unsold. I've got some studs here. And these will go in the kids' workshops. That's an interesting little broken bit. It's not silver or anything, but it's quite cool. It needs to be glued onto something. I've got one of these Indian style bangles. One of the really lightweight metal ones. This necklace I've had in many times. I think it was a Marks and Spencer's one. That one will be cut up as well. It's just got a broken clasp, but I've got so many of them that want to be cut up for the workshops. Oh, this is pretty somebody's wire wrapped all of this uh, it needs a new clasp on it mm, I think that one's been glued in I'll see what I can do to rescue that but I'm not sure if that one's going to be rescuable that's a cute little one I like these little beads I might put that in a little bag of kiddies bits I have mystery bags in my in the place where I sell in the antique centre. I have mystery bags in there that are just bags like this, basically, that I've made up of things that I don't want to use for upcycling. That one will be cut up as well. The cord's gone a bit yucky. This is really pretty. Actually, I sold a pair of earrings very similar to this a few weeks ago on whatnot. That's just got a thing missing from its clasp but I might move it onto a chain to elevate that one that one just needs hammering back into shape and that's just a GPU rubbish costume on that could be going a bag that just needs to go back onto a chain there's not really anything to write home about though, so that might go into my box of pendants for when at some point I do a pendant necklace workshop. This is quite cool. It's missing some of its petals, but I can either reuse those parts or just take that. I could take that section out. Might have a play with that one. The cords, the chain is nice quality. I can't get my words out today. So. Another one of those skinny bangles. Now I love these. So in the spring and summer, I make festival hoop earrings with similar beads to this, but I haven't had pastel ones. I will see if those will clean up because they'd be fab for next year's. Oh look, there's another one of these. interesting so we could make another pair of earrings but i think they're a bit heavy oh of course there was going to be a butterfly but the butterflies are just flying at me constantly at the moment this one needs a good clean some people like that people obviously love butterfly jewelry because i get loads of it in what's going on with this one Oh, we're missing a stone there. What a shame. Just one at the top. 
over there. It's still wearable though. I do sometimes take the parts off these kind of necklaces and make them into a pendant. So we can play with that one. This feels like a nice quality chain. It's probably steel. Oh, I'll either fix that or use the chain for something else because these are just plastic faux pearls. A little charm bracelet. That's got nice glass beads on it. That one's got glitter in it, look. I wonder what she didn't like about this one. It looks okay to me. I'll have another look at that one in more detail and in better light. Oh, I like these beads. I will make my teeny tiny earrings from those. These are the beads I make my teeny tiny earrings from and then I haven't had these pastel ones before. That's exciting. Might save those for a spring edition. Let's pop those with the festival ones. These are lava stones. So we're all caught up around this skinny brass bangle. That's quite cute. I might polish that one up. This one, I think I will probably take those two beads from it because the others have lost some of their coating. And those are nice lava stone beads. Maybe I'll make a, a long pendant out of them. Perhaps. Is that a little handbag? Yeah, a little handbag and a stretchy that's lost its stretch so we'll reuse those beads oh look here's what that broken piece came off oh what a shame this is all broken it's so cool i want to see what i can do with that because it's really fun <laughs> okay well, i'll have a look at that one as well Pretty sparkler. This is missing a stone here. Those two could be made into earrings though. And that's just lost some plating. And there's another piece of, of that bracelet and another one of those dice studs. Another charm bracelet here. Oh, I love a charm bracelet. This is a Claire's one. It's got a horse on it there. I quite like that. Oh, it's missing a stone there. Maybe we'll take that one off and then it's okay. Could be a budget one for my charm show. This one, that's missing a crystal right in the middle there, so I'll cut the beads off of that, I think. I make my teeny tiny earrings with little pearls like that as well. Faux pearls, of course. There's some more lava stain beads in here. And that looks like it's just got a broken clasp, which could be fixed. Let's find the other end of it. Okay, what's happened here is the cord has actually snapped. But I think I can do something with that too bring it back to life. It's a three strand lava stone necklace and it's got these really cool kind of hard to show you at this angle these sort of pebble shaped beads in. Yeah we'll see if we can save that I think it's quite cool and maybe I could make something with the other two big beads to go with it. Here's the other one of these sparklers. Oh, that is actually missing one of its dangles. But we can make another pair out of those. Could even make another pair out of these if I hang something else off it there, maybe some pearls or something. And some more beads. 
this is a little hair slide. I think that one of my girls would like that. I'll probably just clean it and pass it on to one of them. Cute bib necklace. This one's not broken. Perhaps she just didn't sell that one. I think that's quite cool. This is a Lynx of London style one with a little E charm on it. Do we have any markings? The E looks like it could be silver. Mm, let's get the magnet on that. No magnetic reaction from any of it, but I don't think. I don't think that these are silver, but that one I think might be silver that somebody's just added on to it. So I'll check that one as well. This I've had in before. It's a sort of multi-strand chain thing, but that chain's going to be really useful. So I'll be able to use that for extension chains and making necklaces and things. Oh, look, here's the other dangle. But it's actually snapped off, so I can't fix that one. This is one of those necklaces where the clasp hangs at the front and it's all, lost all of its plating, but I know the chain's pretty bad. I think that one might be too past it, but I'll have a good look at the chain. Cute little heart with a bit of pink enamel. That's a very simple necklace. I will probably just reuse the bits on that and make that into a phone charm. Oh, there's another one of these, look. Another one to add to my wrist of brass bangles. This is a cute cord. I like these little gold beads on the end. So that can all be reused, the cord for one thing and the beads for another. Oh my goodness, what a tangle. This is pretty, but it's got quite severe plating loss on it. I don't think much can be done with that one. This is quite a cute pendant and the chain has just gone really yucky. So if I can polish that up, that might be able to be moved onto another chain. We'll see, it might have gone too far. This looks like the Wanderlust Life pendants, which I like so much, but I don't think it is. I think it's just done in the style of it. This is cool. I think that's okay. It's just a bit well loved. This has got completely tangled. I'm not sure whether that's going to return to anything, but we'll have a little go with that later. There's no branding on it. I think it's just a really cheap costume one. Pretty little wire one, but it's all messed up. I might just save these little Aurora Borealis beads on there. Oh, actually, they're, they're just purple sparklies, aren't they? But they're quite cute. We'll cut those off. Well, that was the big detangle. <laughs> so I've managed to pull the remaining pieces apart. So this is the Marks and Spencer's one with a little cute turquoise dangle. And then there's a single earring which can be made into a pendant. This is really interesting. I don't know how easily I'll be able to show this to you. Oops. It's like, it's a really, really long chain. And then this goes down the center and then these two loop sideways. So it kind of almost looks like a top. You kind of hang it down your whole torso. It's really cool. Uh, no branding on it. I don't know whether I should try and sell that or turn it into something else. This would be a really cute necklace here, because maybe a short length one. So we shall see with that one. And a very basic, cheapy costume necklace with a branch on, but it's quite cute. 
How about that one? And what's this one? I think it's a, yeah, another Marks and Spencers one. I think I will probably take the beads off that one. It's a little bit mangled. So loads to work with there. I'm going to have a little go at restoring and upcycling and I'll be back with the results. See you in a moment. Well, that was a happy afternoon. Look what I've been up to. So let me show you in detail. This is mostly bits from the broken bag. So where should we go first? Oh, I found the, the missing crystals from this one, which I've glued back in. Now, this is not an expensive piece, but we've just saved it from landfill. So that's amazing. Somebody might like that one. And then I also found the missing sparkly for the charm bracelet was in the bottom of the bag as well. So I have glued that one back in. This obviously does have some condition issues. It's got some loss of uh, the coating there, but I think it's still a cute charm bracelet. So I'm going to try and I'll put that into my charm whatnot show. And if it doesn't sell, then I'll make earrings and things and pendants out of the charms. This one I probably had the most fun with. So if you remember, these earrings had these dangles on two of them snapped when I took them off and one of them had a missing crystal anyway um, so what I've done is I have released this part and then added some little beads that were hanging on another broken bracelet that I've had from a previous bag so those now have a lovely sparkly movement to them and they're on new surgical steel hooks and then I've popped the other two dangles that were OK also onto new steel hooks. So those can be saved too. This one was an earring. I've literally just taken the hook off. So that's going to go into my box of pendants for use at a later date. And this one you might remember had a flower with a broken petal and it had some big beads with um, rhinestones in. I didn't particularly like the look of it and so I've removed those sparkly bits on the broken one and this is now quite a short choker style necklace and it's on a really nice quality chain as well so I'm quite pleased with that one these you might remember there were two of these on leather cords this one I've moved on to a vintage chain that had come off something else the other one I wonder if it might have had a gold finish to it because it's quite yellow. I'm not quite sure really whether that's good enough to use as a pendant. I might pop it onto a phone charm instead. Then these were the stud earrings and I've done what I said and just moved them over to new gold tone steel hooks. So those are good to go. This one was on the little seed beaded necklace, so I've just moved it onto a new jump ring and onto a pre-loved chain. It's really cute. And I'm quite pleased with these ones. These were necklace that had the faux pearls on. I just really liked the rings, so I thought I would make them into a long pair of chain earrings. And obviously I can make several pairs of those as well. They were quite fun. This was on a GP necklace cord and this was the other dangle that was on with that turquoise coloured one as well. So that's now on a phone or bag charm or zipper charm, whatever you want to do with it. The turquoise, I've just tidied up the, the hoops a little bit and I've put it onto a really long bronze tone chain and that just looks so cool now. This little one you might remember was on a bracelet with rings. It was a Lynx of London style one. I will test the rings for silver because they are quite heavy, but there's no markings on it. This, however, now that I've cleaned it up, does have a 925. So that one will be going into my Whatnot Charms show in a few weeks time. This one just had a snapped chain, so I fixed that. It's a really, really long one. So that can be worn again now. And this one was the strange sort of long crossover necklace. There's still loads of chain left off this one. I just particularly liked this bit, which was lang which was hanging rather um, vertically down. I've moved that so that it's now on a shorter, I think it's about a 16 inch chain, which I've made using parts from the chains and the original clasp. 
So that was quite a fun one. I like that one. And then this lava stone piece that I really liked. So it's a triple strand one. I've just put onto just sort of tidied up the ends because the clasp had come off completely and I've just added a couple of new jump rings on to secure it there so that one is fully wearable again now too so I've also got the tray of bits for resale that is mostly what came out of the charity shop bags and then quite a big tray of beads for cutting up for my kits my children's workshops and the elastic stretchy bracelets that I make um, I've also got these two to play with at a later date. I'm going to restring those and see what can be done with them. They're both really cool, but I didn't have time to do that today. So I hope you've liked what you've seen. Please, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like for me because that helps the video get seen by other people. If you are already a subscriber and you like the videos, you might like to join the channel membership. So have a look at that. It's an option on the channel too. And if you haven't come across to whatnot, make sure you check out the link in the free credit in the description below as well. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.